Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for Vanilla which plays the German Reich using the DLC Gotha Demo. Now I'll be honest, I really know very very little about this whole new DLC and whatnot. We have a new focus tree for the Germans, Austrians, Hungarians, Belgians, and the Congo. And I got some special projects we can do here and there. Um, for example, a valuable special project. So we got a land warfare thing here. And we can choose to do a Flam Panzer, military engineering vehicle, or super heavy howitzer. Now, truth be told, before I even start this campaign, really, I have not done any research on any of this stuff. I have no idea. I've been watching some of the you know, ISP, ISR Productions, maybe a little bit of Alex Rambler before going into this. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, which one do we want? Artillery? I like artillery. Subunits, super heavy artillery, super heavy howitzer here. Uh, subunits, assault engineer company, armor support vehicle, or flame tanks. This look fun. I'm gonna go with howitzers though. Uh, formidable artillery piece boasting a large caliber that can wreak havoc on enemy defenses with unprecedented destructive force. Oh, wait, we can't do one yet. Requires a scientist. Uh, and we need two of these to get there. Oh, that'd be really cool though. Oh, oh darn. Soft attack's not bad. Extra collateral damage, what does that mean? More damage to do to fortifications and infrastructure. Well, I guess not. Flame tanks, it is. An armored vehicle equipped with devastating close range firepower. Designed to unleash torrents of flames upon enemy positions. That's cool. Alpha, gain 100% discount for one design template. Can be used for flame tanks. Huh. What do you guys use? Do you use these light flame tanks, medium flame tanks, heavy flame tanks? Oh, of course, Ah, oh, screw it, okay. Um, so this guy's a tank specialist. Artillery. She's you. And you can start with flame tanks. Oh. I'll put resource usage. Hmm. Unlock technology, advanced flame flower. That's cool. Okay. Well, there's that. Also, let's see. Available project 16, breakthrough. 80% air is there. Also, I, I do want to get to the physics one. So I decided to put one in here in the center. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Well, we've got a whole brand new focus tree to go with. And we're going, we're on historical. We're probably not going to play very historical. Uh, but we're going to remilitarize the Rhineland. I guess. The Rhineland's been demilitarized since the end of the Great War. But this install shall no, stand no longer. Germany is a sovereign nation and is free to move troops anywhere within her borders. So. Why don't we MFO bills? Bitter loser, of course. Uh, so consumer, consumer goods factors will increase by 3% each month up to 100%. The monthly increase will be higher based on the amount of non-core states controlled by Germany. If consumer good factors remain reaches 100%, additional penalties will be applied. Ooh. So you get a little faster military factory construction speed. Okay. Duchess Hea, Kriegsmarine, and Luftwaffe. So, uh, it's only 10%. Now I'll just power at least the following number of skilled scientists. Okay, well that's nice. Also, uh, we are seeing divisions over here too. Uh, his concerns versus reorganize the Wehrmacht. Uh huh. Molotov ribbon drop back, which is the way we want to go. How much do I want to go down this way? On Norath's concerns. Enter good Czechoslovakia. That'd be cool. Befriend. Demand the Sudeten land. Anschluss. Uh, and I like the, that they have over th things over here, especially with the economy. I like to prioritize economic growth. What are the four-year plan? We need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next four years. No matter what, though, I still want to build as much as we possibly can. I'm not worried about the Italians winning here. If they don't win, they're Italian, first of all, but still. I forgot to send some planes. And there's nothing like sending a bunch of casts. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's not send casts. Let's save our casts. We got some tactical bombers here. They're not as efficient. That's alright. Just to bomb some Africans. I forgot how fast base game is. And we remilitarized the Rhineland. Very good. But like I said, I have no idea which way we're going to go. Huh? Oh! Oh! We give our political power. I probably want this one. The Fuhrer expenses full loyalty from those closest to him. Yet those who are among his, his trusted few must remember that none of them counts more than the stones that they are standing on. A single step. 
out of line or failure to act in accordance with the Fuhrer's wishes might have dire consequences. The Fuhrer alone was set of course. Okay. You want to join in on the fun? Yeah, I guess we go here. That's fine. Oh, what do we have here? Complete one prototype iteration, huh? What is this? Skilled. Ooh, we got three subs here. Nice. Not very good subs, but that's all right. But like I said, I have no idea what uh, that's going to be like. Oh, look at all these people we have here. Bright. Huh. Peter Adolf Thiessen. Gustav Ludwig Hertz, Emil Becker, Plakat, Walter von Braun, von Ohain, Falk, of course. Hmm. Iterations. Completed one. Oh. 31% output. Oh. That's good. Very nice. So, what can we do here? MFO Bill Architect. Reich Minister of Church Affairs, Hans Carroll. Ooh, Reinhard Hedrich, he's one of my favorites. Um not bad. I like this guy though. A theorist. So alright. Chief of the army. I'm gonna get him wrong, this would be nice and stuff. Bill, though. You could cancel the bills. Relied on the Reichsbank for the reconstruction of our arms industry for too long. So we made a good a promissory note or arrangement with our arms manufacturers and end this MEFO build charade. After the bill payment has been completed, some good factors. Oh boy. Look at this. Cannot raid dams and ardennes. Dam bombing raid. Whoops. My finger must have slipped. Huh. Himmler, huh? Reichsleiter Speer. Reichs Leiter Todd. So we'll back to construction speed. Plenipotentiary of armaments. Autonomous. It's not bad. Goring. Goebbels. Hmm. Not bad. SS, expand SS duties. Strengthen the VOP and SS. Expand the Gestapo. Ooh. Absorb the Abwehr. A Germany of the SS. Party Chancellor Hess. Bob Ballman. Optimize the services. Hmm. Glorify party rallies. Domestic affairs, huh? Loyalty to the big daddy. A strong successor. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Von Ribbentrop. Do we want him immediately? Probably not. We don't really need him right now. I want to help us out immediately. And I do want to get the Spanish War pretty fast. For your plan. Fun, yes. It's in Africa.
can up out if you really want. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Recovery rate, infantry, max command power increase plus 20, that's interesting. He's skilled in defense and fighting in cold weather conditions. Ah, perfect for Africa. All right. Construct the Rex Autobahn. Autarky efforts. All right. Lock free trade and export. Gain autarky. Improved trade influence with current and future faction members. Accelerate the rearmament program. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I do want to get down here. We need a lot of civvies, though, for this. Price controls. Reduce increasing consumer goods factors. Factories factory, but each month by 0.5%. Mm. What are we building right now? Obobayan? Let's do that one first. Since its inception in 1933, the Reich's Autobahn project has been a glorious success. The construction efforts have reduced unemployment. On the wide road stand is a monument to the German Reich's economic recovery. Much work remains to be done, however. Federal State of Austria bans D and SAP. Or this research shows that the Austrian government has issued a ban on the DNSAP in the federal state of Austria. A soft ban was already in place since 34, though said ban was largely ignored by the political parties and government alike. This signifies a change in tone from the Austrian leadership towards us. Beyond the obvious insult that this is, we also have our influence over the federal state of Austria. They are not lose that easily. The total army fighting strength required for Anschluss will be lowered. How rude. Gains banned DSNAP. The effect, huh? Let's go and save. I don't remember. Kushnig, huh? Oh, widespread unemployment due to Saint Germain and Lai. Austrofascism. This before on the line goes up. First of Austrian Sewell's Authesis Inquad as an advisor. Oh, look at that. Seems that the Austrian has come to see the reason after all. The ban on the sister party in the federal state of Austria still stands, but they have at least sought Authesis Inquad as an advisor, allowing us some insight into the political maneuvering. Okay, good. Uh, mechanical competing research speed. Yes, so this will get us a little more towards a breakthrough for nuclear research, which would be nice. Event 2. Very nice. Supplies are quite garbage here, we will say. Can we have a trader? Very nice. Still keep on building. And then autarky efforts. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in our construction. That'll be good. So that being said, once this is done, we're going to lower by one and then start building our civvies. <clears throat> where we have max infrastructure. I pretty much should build everything else. There we go. Tuningen. It's fine. And we're making quite a few infantry divisions as well. Because you never know. There you go. Well, we're going to shoot for 27 combo with eventually. There are 18 combo with infantry already, which is decent. Not a big problem. Not a big deal. Rhein Metal. Huh. Growing expenses of rearmament. A rearmament program, well, both necessary and with noble intent, is starting to cause some concern, some concern among our economists. They worry that the military production will need more, and more funds to sustain itself. We need to keep a close eye so that military spending doesn't get spiral control. Oi, not good. Excuse me. Bribe senior officials, huh? Huh. 
Gains politically connected. I don't like that. Army indoctrination. Hmm. Straf Battalion. Autonomy and the Kriegsschulen. Expand the Truppenschulen. Indoctrination, huh? I prefer autonomy. Innovative warfare. Huh. Like so, the rearmament program, which wouldn't be bad, but. Eh. That's two price controls. We must impose various measures of strength and our control over the finances so it won't buckle under ambitions. Our ambitious goals become self sufficient. We must be able to regulate the prices of imports, essential goods, and workers' wages to curb inflation and secure economic stability. Improve working conditions. No more stability wouldn't be bad. I like stability. You guys actually win here? I don't think you can. For this stuff, very nice. Flam Panzers. Oh, look at that, we did it. Cool. 0.15 breakthrough progress and 6% technology research bonus for land warfare. Gains 0.28% daily. That's awesome. We need another one for the Super Heavy Howitzer. I guess we'll do this one next. It's not bad. Assault Engineer. Oh, look at all this. Oh, what's that? Only for empty tank. Becca. Go look with action. So I do want to know what happens once we get all this stuff done and then we like or we don't no longer have MFO bills. Katie at Wagen Factories will allow our citizens to purchase their own future people's cars through a savings scheme. Which in turn will use the finance construction of the factories. They'll eventually contribute to building these cars. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll switch going to war with these guys first just so that I can get some uh, fuel and rubber. Well, at least fuel. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Can we help you out? Okay, so we send two guys. I'll send you to. And we'll actually send you the planes. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Price control measures. Implementing price controls to stabilize the economy and prevent inflation by regulating prices, such goods will remain affordable. Oh, launch guns before butter campaign. Interesting. Collect scrap metal. Develop LSATS material. Import tariffs. Implement rations. Implement wage controls. Ah. Oh. Exploit the Gumbus Treaty trade. The trade treaty that the Hungarian Prime Minister Gulya Gumbus Signed with us in 34 is important for stimulating the Hungarian economy and aiding in recovery from the Great Depression, but also great drawbacks for them. The oil agreement gives them a favorable price for sales of wheat. The money earned has to remain in an account in Germany and has to be used only for purchasing German industrial goods. 
We could therefore empty the account they have stored away in our nation to aid in our own economy, but the cost of losing a potential ally. Eh, not sure if that's really worth doing. Arbeit und Borat campaign. I like the war sport. Now it's time for a little bit of fun. Seventy day focus though, that's a long time. Expend the Lufafa? Wouldn't mind getting some daily air XP actually. From the Yagbafa. Develop the maneuver warfare doctrine. We might want to start doing that too. Prussian legacy would be fun, but this would probably be the way we want to go. Operational planning. An activate against for forty five days. Adds Blitzkrieg, interesting. The Kriegs Marine wouldn't be bad either. Uh -huh. Build the Rural Dam. Screw it. Constructing. Uh, the Rural Dam is more than simply a feat of engineering. It's an investment for the future. A dam would not only bolster the economic development of the region, but also fuel our industrial efforts for production output. So, where are we at for this? Because you can actually manipulate this a whole bunch then. Which is actually really cool. With all the political power that you can get. It's actually quite strong. A couple more divisions here, it's fine. Got the cruiser, it's fine. Alright, so at this point we're going to stop training everybody. Come in the rear. Oh, maybe you're not. Okay, you go here. Just first industry. Uh huh. Go over here. Just please. So can you only do one at a time, or can you, do you need a breakthrough first or something? To war artillery. Naval ship. Uh, other stuff here. Ability. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. What do we have? Denounce the Dutch ideals, of course, that's pretty normal. On years. It can be important. Oh, well, there goes Friesland. That's the case. Okay, we have like no fuel. Build the dam. Colocrefaction. So it would have locked me out of all of these if we go to war and get rid of MEFO bills. It's not bad, it's not bad. Infrastructure. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Rear 
Rogan is a Wehrmacht. At counter back. Uh, Legion Corridor. Well, not quite. We can do this one first. If for us to be able to follow through with the Fuhrer's ambitious plans, an expansive reorganization must take place within the Wehrmacht. Too many of the current leaders spend their time voicing petty and baseless concerns instead of carrying out the Fuhrer's orders. Only by removing these individuals can their goals be achieved. I'm about to just join, join in on the fun. You know, just in case. Let's see what happens. So this gets removed when uh, we go to war. The future of the German rearmament program. The financial tools of the rearmament program risk collapsing our economy. If we mean to keep armament production at the same level as before, we must seek a new ways of funding or change our prioritization. It's always been our goal. Economy of conquest. The program is too expensive. We just get rid of it completely. Huh. I want to see what this is like, because once we get these, rid of these guys, I'll we'll see what happens. Alright, so we got them done. There's no way we can hold on to the Dutch East Indies, but I don't mind holding them on for now. So now, here we are. See? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, were you still at war or? Like I said, we're not being very historical and that's okay. Mm, there you go. Happy 1936 everybody. Naval stuff, but sure. Why not? You can come back over here. There we go. And... Uh, you can join over here. There you go. Oh, what do we got here? Blom und Voss. Long range. Speed. I don't really use that. Fuel usage. Only for subs. Well, let me look at the things here. Well, I guess it's the only one we've got, huh? Well, we're focusing on subs, so I guess we'll focus on subs then. Ah. Ah, so we built it. Von Heisenberg. Nuclear Warfare Specialist Project Speed. Special Project Speed Breakthrough Bonus. I don't know. I'm going with Heisenberg. He sounds like... The Normal one. What is this? Ah, skill inexperienced. He's the most experienced one. So we gotta get these projects researched. So we have nothing to research then. Interesting. And then Legion Condor. Legion Condor. A civil war rages on in the Iberian Peninsula. A great opportunity presents itself to us. By sending them as many volunteers as we can manage. Can we not only ensure that we, the right side wins, but also offer our troops battlefield experience and tell the imperial Spanish people that share our ideals closer to us? Good. And I'm going to keep going here since up here too. So we still have MEFO bills for now, huh? Economy of conquest. And with that in mind, can we still do all this stuff? It's only what? Negative 3% is. or 3% 3, 3 consumer goods. Eh, it's not bad. But can you continually do that? That's my question. Probably not. Nice. And we'll come back. Um, no, 
don't want to be in the same area. We need somewhere that's relatively flat. But there's not a lot of flat places here in Spain. There really are not. One block. Absolutely need to have anti tank. Ah, got tons of political power. Implement rationing. Uh, first censorship, region wide integration. Oh, what is this? Autarky. That's interesting. Okay. Chief of the army, drill or organization? I like I like organization. Air Force. Reichsmarschall. SPRT. Fighter production is better. Air reformer. We'll go with you. Mechanical computing is good. That'll be 1937, everybody. Basic armor production. A little ahead of time there. Alright, what do we got? Can you guys help out here? Could you actually do anything there? Brazil enters a state of emergency. Look at that. Alright. Anti combat impact. Friend China, the friend Japan. Uplift the Rosenberg office. Allows for formation of special subject states and administrative decisions or divisions in conquered territories, such as ex commissariats and protectorates. Allows the division of Europe into projected spheres of influence. That's interesting. Okay. Well, perhaps senior officials. Ah, I get more divisions that way. Um, accelerate the rearmament program. We must break the shackles of the Versailles Treaty and let the ambles of industry forge a glorious destiny for the German Reich. Every tank produced, every plane assembled will stand as a testimony to the unbending will of the German people. If you struggle here, that's okay. Mm, we might need Marines later on. Uh, I definitely want maintenance companies for our guys. Navy? Sure. Looking pretty good so far. More cap growth base and retention. Uh, concentrated armament program, perhaps? Or coal of a faction? Hmm. Or to get more civvies. Establish a Reichs faction. Most readers are those of the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, will form an industrial conglomerate under a control and oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors, as also form the backbone of a military industry. Oh. Okay. So what do we have here? Military engineering vehicles. Specialized vehicles to enhance battlefield mobility, fortification construction, and obstacle clearance under combat conditions. Sure, why not? It's not bad. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. Hmm. Uh, von Ribbentrop. Just so world goes time. Meh. Anti sub specialist. Meh. Good. Seize foreign industries. Hmm. Ah. Develop Haral's research facilities. Investing in new facilities can secure access to the growing demand for precious metals that a modern military needs. These specialized materials are essential for electronics and high-quality armaments. I'm trying to get the fifth research slot already. Align Bulgaria. Donate a small number of aircraft to the recently established Bulgarian Air Force. Why not? 
they accept, of course. The Bulgarian High Commander is glad to accept our proposal and boards third is personally thanked the, for their donation for aircraft, stating that the relationship between the German Reich and the start of Bulgaria is becoming stronger, more prosperous, and mutually beneficial, as it should be. Switzerland decides to continue with the trial of Gustav Keller. Authorities in Switzerland have announced that David Frankfurter, who confessed to the killing of the Nazi Party for an organization in Davos, will have a fair and balanced trial under Graubunden laws like any other murder case. Considering Gustav was an officer of the Nazi Party and her influence on her defense's neighbor, we can send a lawyer to represent Gustav's widow and push Radio Akka. This way, we can ensure his punishment is a befitting of his crime. Speaking more pragmatically, we can also force the Swiss Confederation to take a side, finally breaking that flimsy facade of neutrality they always like to boast about. No need to intervene. She deserves justice for this heinous crime. Yeah, we'll go with that one. It's not going to work, but whatever. Read a propaganda? I think so. So what happens once uh, we hit high enough? Hindenburg disaster. Denmark offers a trade proposal. Uh, Danish, Danish, Danish delegation approaches with a trade proposal. Denmark produces a, a large amount of food products, of which we have imported quite a bit of historically. They recently developed their domestic currency, the Krone, making their agricultural goods far more competitive. This agreement could provide quite a boon for us as we secure food for our population and strengthen our food supplies. Could be beneficial. There's no need for Danish products. Sure, you know what, we'll say yes for now. Increase trade. Cancel trade. I mean, this company's nice. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. I could be doing this completely wrong and, and be screwing things up for us here really badly. Dave Frank Fenta is sentenced to prison. The Swiss Confederation of the Gaul to give a paltry 18 year sentence to Gustav's killer. It's unfortunate, but we couldn't have pushed much harder for the more punitive sentence. At the risk of inflaming the cause for a boycott of the Olympics. For now, we can at least make Gustav a martyr of the German Reich and use the murder for the propaganda. Maybe in a future invasion, we could get a hold of the Frankfurter and have our justice. We will not forget this. Call cool, liquefaction. Uh, I just think I wanted some of these all. Let's drink the Kriegsmarine first. The Anglo German naval agreement with Skirt 35 allows us to expand our navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. We didn't do anything about our navy. Having a fifth research slot though is very nice. Ah, of course in the defense, huh? Uh-huh. Air theorist. Naval theorist. Close air proponent. I'd rather do this guy. Die bombers. Very nice. Empty combat impact. Foreign volunteers. Hmm. Plan Z. Focus trade interdiction will be unlocked until the focus of the high CC is completed. Expand Luftwaffe. Develop modern maneuver warfare. Must recognize the evolving nature of modern warfare and develop a new doctrine emphasizing the integration of infantry new technologies to maximize their military effectiveness on the battlefield. Nice guys, nice. Hmm. So if we want to send stuff to Japan, we send up to five divisions. Wow, you know, we got five right there. I don't want to send these, these tanks, though. I 
Oh, look at that. Very nice. No, we don't need it now. Okay, cancel it. Smoke generators, it is 37. Can you guys help out here? What if I the Vatalan? Adopt new Panzer Doctrine. Uh, actually... Where is a thing for research between us and uh, the Soviets? Now, at least expand the Lufafa. One word is going to be one without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to help develop the Air Force. That being said, Panzer Divisions are okay. Oh, you know what? Since we're here, Motorization Drive, why not? Anything else? Media for Warfare. Uh, nothing really interesting here. Actually, you know what? Going bold attack would probably be pretty good, especially early on. Oh, yeah. But I want to throw on... Well, I don't know about light, extra light stuff. Maintenance companies. Transport. Hmm. A lot of funk, huh? France Celti. Reinhard Heydrich. Church Affairs. Riefenstahl, huh? Well, the Abwehr Canaris would be great. Uh, I'm going to go with you. Military police. Oops. Ah. And we're piercing bomb locks. Engineering. Well, ahead of time. You know what? Let's get basic fortifications done just in case. Do what you must. Um. Oh, good. To uh, immediately in the city, you get establish production targets before we can launch any military campaigns. We must first modernize and equip our armed forces. In order to ramp up production of output, we must implement quotas and ambitious production targets. Ah, forgot about you guys, too. There you go. Obviously, I'm not playing this very efficiently, but it is what it is. Do what you can. Do what you can where you can with what you have. Twenty percent slowly getting worse. Not ideal. That's an alliance production targets. Um, I like Kolika faction trade with. These guys. Well, our shields of poor grit and our fuel and a fewer war machine. We need a best the best material. Luckily, Sweden's in the north is an ideal partner. Available high grade resources. And you truly don't like to put too much of a fuzz when our future plans materialize. So we gotta get ready for this as well. Twenty three times bigger. Pro uh, when counting only properly equipped units. Huh. 
already missing your guns. Support equipment. Oh, support equipment and towed artillery, huh? So let's come in urban soul specialist, which is nice. Active sonar. Fear plans for expansion. The conference recently called by Adolf Hitler, the Fuhrer has shared some of his ambitions for the future of expansions of the German Reich. The first such expansion is one that he perceives to be of little risk. The Austrian people is of no difference to ours, and they mostly hold similar views, as proven by the political climate of the country. The Fuhrer believes that such an expansion will be possible to achieve diplomatically. He given us a sufficient time for German-friendly sentiments to grow within the federal state of Austria. A wonderful idea. guys here. Goring. Hmm. He'll start working on his focus in the branch over time. Wolman. Goebbels. Himmler. I do like Speer. As a train architect, Albert Speer possesses skills that are most viable to the continued prosperity of the country. By allowing him relative freedom to act, we can draw benefit from both his skills and contacts with the bigger players in the German construction industry. So we can accept a trading proposition. Paul Alban Hansen seems to be a reasonable leader who is looking out for his country's best interests. Coincidentally, this just so happens to be in our country's best interests as well. We'll put the extra resources from Sweden to good use. We both stand to gain from this. <clears throat> That's right. Fuel oil processing, fuel refining, fuel refining. All right, so thirty-eight. The German army is at least twenty point six six four times bigger than the Austrian army. We made moderate headway towards this. Despite the words of the Austrian politicians, it is clear that the largely German-speaking population of the federal state of Austria. Longs you know with the fatherland. We should pressure the corrupt leader good Schusnig to resign and let the will of the people be carried out. Hmm. Call a faction. Jim is lacking in oil, so we must redouble our efforts in the field of synthetic oil. Just for concerns? Oh. So IG Farben, Kudup. Electronics, Railways, Philip Holzman. Reichsverkehr. It's not bad. Seems like the way we should go is this one. You know, I want this one. Fine. <laughs> the Russian of Austria supports offered Jansen's plan. Uh, and you guys obviously request self so airplanes if you want to read about this, please go ahead. Uh, you got a couple bombers, that's fine. The government of the federal state of Austria has once again placed their trust in Alfred Janssen, a field marshal with clearly anti German sentiments. With plans to fortify our borders and a plan tailored to counter an attack from us, this field marshal has been a nuisance to us before and likely will be do so again. We need to go. They replace him. Pressure for the Austrians immediately replaced Alfred Janssen and his foolish defense plan is paid off. And the very anti German Janssen, the Austrians are now gone with much more agreeable Franz Böhm. What are we doing in here? You're still going. He's 
learning though. Ah, large scale motorization aviation requires a large amounts of rubber, which we own in sources of Germany proper. In order to become less reliant on foreign trade, we must build factories that, or factories that can produce synthetic rubber. Huh, synthetic oil. All right, so with that in mind. Concentrated armament production or program. Our industries must support our military needs to rearm our nation. A comprehensive rearmament program to rapidly modernize and expand our armed forces must be launched. So we can use more military factories immediately. Actually, we just buy the stuff we need, don't we? So support equipment. Trucks. I forgot about this. I haven't played Vanilla Hoy 4 in so long, it's not funny. We need trucks, though. Oopsie. No trucks. Good, nine to eight. Armored support vehicle. Oh wow, that's the old style of upgrading stuff. What do we need an armored support vehicle for? Mobility under armor protection. Going in terms of rearmament. Let's find alternatives. Oh boy. Ah. Develop S stats material. Ah, bell, very nice. Adapt to Panzer Doctrine. Heinz Guderian and other radical theorists are pushing for daring new doctrines emphasizing communication, identification of Schwerpunkte, and local concentration of combined armed forces. Given the free reigns might have helped avoid the meat grinder horrors of the Great War. Uh, got plenty of guns for now. Got plenty of planes ish. Need more of this. Need more of this. It's a little more important right now. I'm sure I'm running, falling behind, but still. Oh, Anschluss. Yeah, we'll do this one next. Belt inclines. Stop doing that for now so we can keep building more stuff. Oh, National's Victory, look at that, very nice. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, look at that guy. Sport equipment, light tanks, and trucks. And Angelus. <coughs> uh, definitely gonna go the Blitzkrieg route. And who do you want for the? In Hessen, aerodynamics and avionics facility. Probably a bomb brawn. They've just completely done nothing here, huh? Wow. 
And then after Anschluss, what's this one? The friend Japan. I guess I take come from back, but then what? Demand Sudan Lamp. Claims Grow your program. Took your delivery investment portfolio. Nah. Alright, so we're done with all that. Load ones, that's fine. Except for learning, which is nice. Anschluss. Repeat up rising in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with the Reich. It's time not to get action and allow the will of the people to be made manifest. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? The fate of the Sudet Germans was one of the worst injustices inflicted by the Treaty of Versailles. They must be brought under protection regardless of Czech objections. Welcome, y'all. Beating machines, nice. Welcome aboard. And now we got all your other divisions off. Pino Jaeger, so six combo with wow, that's pretty bad. But then you have all these. Hmm. It costs twenty. And this throwing out three more will cost fifteen. So technically these ones are better. Alpina Jaeger divisions. Divisions are not as good. Henry, mm, you run through the chaos. Question of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Following the return of Austria to the Reich, we now share a border with the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. We go over the principle. Has uh, been fairly quiet about the stance on the proposed reordering of Europe. Perhaps we should remind them that the time will come when they must make a choice. Put a squeeze on them. Ah, put a little squeeze, squeeze. Is this even worth doing? Armored engineer companies. I want to see it. It may, it may not. Eastern claims, Lachiku and Liechtenstein. Hmm. And demand Slovenia. The Treaty of Saint Germain and Live. So many historic Austrian territories passed out to successor states. With Austria again, once again united with the German nation, it's time to end these injustices. The historic province of Carniola, Carniola and Styria, are now, which are now in Slovenia, must be brought home. As they should be brought home. Maximum coastal forts. Which fine. As we should continue to be building up the wazoo. They won't have any uh what arrives here? No. What are we missing here? Oh, quite a few guns actually.
And we'll see what about this. The immunity conference. Ah! I'm flying for the polls, man. Wilhelm. Yes, please. <clears throat> Talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Brittany, Germany, France, and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Both the British and French have accepted our claims to the Sudetenland land as legitimate, and the previous offers of support to the Czechs have been rescinded. Recognizing the hopelessness of the situation, the Czechs have surrendered the Sudeten territories to us. The Brest and German inhabitants will at long last be brought into the Vaterland. It's a historic day for Germany. Very nice. Demand Slovenia. Um, kind of a conquest. Expect a number of factories put on consumer goods plus ten percent. Oh boy, that's not good. Economy crashes. That's not a good thing. Ah, ah, radar. By pul using pulse radio waves and detecting their reflections, we'll be able to monitor enemy movements from lands, air, and sea. Or helicopter. The development of a helicopter with its unique ability to hover in place could offer critical tactical advantage in military operations. Let me go with this one. Let's see about that. That sounds like fun. As would a massive Indiana suggest a coup or support a coup. Molotov ribbon trial fact. Might as well. Treat of friendship and non-aggression with the USSR might turn the stomach, but allow the precious oil to keep flowing in Germany. The Secret Addendum will divide the territories of Romania, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland into the German and Soviet spheres of influence. I made the first Vienna War. The Hungarians were one of the people that suffered worst after the Great War. In the slaughter of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, many Hungarians were stranded on foreign soil through their ancestors, though their ancestors had lived there for ages. We would greatly improve our relations with Hungary by rewarding them some of the territories from Czechoslovakia. Well, we're continuing expanding. We'll see what happens in the next episode. This is not the most optimal way of playing it, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm just here for fun. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens next time. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, though. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As, uh, we'll see what else we can do with good old German Reich and this one Adolf guy. Funny mustache, man. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.